So Jane Pierce was uh, actually a friend of Nicole's. That's how uh, I met uh, this friend. Met, I met her through Nicole, like you care. Uh, Uh, so anyway, we got to talking and uh, I said, I, you know, I'd, I'd done these reviews before. She's like, hey, I'm open to one. So she got uh, my uh, location, my age, and uh, so date of birth and time of birth. And, um, and worked up an astrology chart for me. It was really, really in-depth. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen an astrology chart. I mean... If you go to a psychic fair, some guy with a computer will print you out one and a few pages of whatever. But if you actually work with an astrologer, a lot of the time you're getting something very different that's a lot more comprehensive. And, and that was the case definitely with Jane Pierce. I mean, what can I say? Um, everything was on the chart. She, she really nailed my personality. It was all in the stars. I, I don't know what to think, honestly, when it comes to astrology. Um, it's something that's so technical and so outside my area of expertise that when it comes to this subject, I'm sort of lost. I, I kind of end up thinking, well, I, I don't understand how this could work. And yet, when we're sitting there doing the charts, she's really spelling out, you know, I think maybe one of the more impressive moments was when she talked about um, how my last couple of weeks had gone. Jupiter went into Scorpio in um, October or se October this year, September, October, right around the time all of the Me Too movement started and the accusations of inappropriate. It was Jupiter's expansion and um, big business, big government, big anything. It's the biggest planet. And Scorpio is get into the secrets, right? And transform. Yeah. So when Jupiter went in there, Jupiter started exploding all the secrets. And that's where we got the Me Too movement and the people coming out with the saying, hey, what about this? You felt a lot more push to getting things done before March. From like September, October through March, I'm going to suggest your business was really growing mm -hmm. and you were getting a lot of traction. You were almost to the point where you started to believe that you were doing something. Yeah. And then around March 8th, things changed. Yeah. <laughs> that's when Jupiter went retrograde in Scorpio. Or you were. April 1st, you were working really good at keeping your emotions level. You were trying to be like, well, I'm excited about this. I'm concerned about this. And you were doing this kind of balance attitude. Yeah. You're going to hit that. And then it went down. Let me start there. Unfortunately, right now, you're having a little bit more emotional turmoil than you're comfortable with. Um, you had a couple days, like the second, third, where you were upset and you're kind of getting like, okay, I need to know the answer. I need to research this. I got to dig into this and find out. And now you've got a lot of energy to work with in your environment. Like I'm going to change how people see me. You might be updating a banner. You might be redoing a profile pic, that kind of stuff. You're having a lot of feelings about and really doing a great job of moving it. Does that feel accurate? I mean, all that stuff's happened recently. You're, you really, really nailed the emotional journey, uh, the, the highs and lows of the last couple of weeks or week specifically even. <laughs> um, that's very, very, very spot on. And yeah. it's going to get easier. April 15th, you'll feel it lightning. This is the time to go back and look at your foundation. And, and it was so perfect. I mean, it was so, you know, dead on. And uh, so rolling forward, how to deal with things, how to move things forward was, um, was accordingly really useful. Uh, and I'm finding in the time that follows here, I'm already sort of taking advantage of some of the things she told me. For the most part, when you want to look at astrology, what I'm getting from it was that it's very much like a weather report. And that's important because Jane was clearly not there to tell me um, this is going to happen. 
but rather here are the pressures on the situation. And then you react the way you react. I mean, you, you do what you're going to do. So it's an interesting perspective because it's very much like looking at life like, um, like sailing. And you want to get the weather forecast for sailing so that you know what you're going to be doing. And you got to keep an eye on the horizon and see what the clouds are doing. And the point is you're always going to get from point A to point B. But if you know what the conditions are, you can plan for it and you can take advantage of them or weather them instead of breaking your mast. So what else can I tell you? Uh, Jane made it easy to understand. Um, it was really straightforward, uh, even though there was just a ton of symbols and, and information I didn't understand. She was able to spell it out for me and make it easy to, to wrap my head around. She sent me a bunch of calendar files that uh, I'm able to integrate with my Google Calendar so that I can keep track of the next year of, you know, the stuff that's coming up and, and moving in and, and moving out uh, so I can move with it and accommodate it accordingly. Even though she was bang on over and over and over, um, I still felt like I had a little bit of agency. I've had a, an astrology reading before, once before, a long time ago, and I left kind of feeling very disempowered. I remember feeling ages and ages ago, like, uh, well, I guess that's it. I'm screwed. That's what's happening coming up in the next few months, because it definitely all of the other events in my past life are, are there. So definitely the future is just spelled out. It's the way it is. But Jane didn't leave me feeling disempowered at all. Jane very much left me feeling like I am better equipped to deal with what comes up and I can be ready for it and uh, and I can roll with it and make sure that it ends up being something that's easily managed instead of just like some kind of disaster or something. So I definitely recommend getting your astrology chart done up with uh, with Jane Pierce if you've got a big project coming up. She is the one you want uh, when it's when a big event is coming up and you want to be ready. You want to make sure that nothing catches you off guard. Um, and th that's, that's definitely the person you want to talk to. But apart from that, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. All right, that's it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.